How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games, and um, welcome back to Game of Thrones. Um, I, I started this series. There's already two videos of this uh, story. I'll link them in the description below. So if you're joining me now uh, for this, um, I've already done two videos, and I'm continuing on from those two videos. So this isn't the start of Game of Thrones for me. Um, so go back and watch those other two if you haven't already seen this, and then come back and then watch this video. But we're basically going to be continuing Game of Thrones as there's not really much else to play at the moment and I said I'd come back to this. So um, yes, don't worry about um, Minecraft, um, etc. I'll, I'll talk about that at the end. But I'm basically going to play this right the way through until I've completed it in one video. Okay, so let's continue what we started. Okay, <laughs> I forgot where I was for a second there. So this is uh, obviously um, the first season. Um, and this is the first episode. Your sister can help us. It's King's Landing. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Oh, get some fruit. Okay. Why would that be? Look at it. Look at it. What's inside? Unfinished letter. A brooch. Steal it. It's very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Alright. Ethan made this for me. So is she a member of the Boltons? Kind of forgotten a Ash little bit. Me this coin to remember him. <laughs> What a strange place, Essos. Isn't it though? Like a letter and some shit? Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Don't be sad. Oh my, she does look very sad, doesn't she? Alright, so what else have we got here? What's this? Dusty Old... Wonders Made by Man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Oh man, she does I not look happy, I hope to see them all she? someday. It's alright, love, don't worry. We'll get you out of here. Window! Have a look outside. She's landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Probably not. Ironrath does not sound like a nice tropical country, does it? Another letter! It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. I'm coming! Just a second! Oh god, where am I going? I right, shut up, I'm coming. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Let him in. No, it's fine. Come in. Get him some new clothes as well. Begging your it? pardon, my lady, but are you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, let us know. Kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. He might Please be a hurry spy. If you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, 
But it seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. But we besties! I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Well, we're gonna see Cersei. She's a bitch. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Use him as a spy. Good night, my lady. Hey, find out the Wi-Fi password! Oh. I tried. I don't think King's Landing has Wi-Fi. Oh, hello. Lady Marjorie, you're early. Lovely. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Anything for you, Bay? <laughs> Bay, in King's Landing. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. So she's a forester. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. I need your help, my lady. You can click that. Of course. And I will help you in any way I can. But there's another matter we must attend to first. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. So she is she a forester. She mentioned a northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know. Huh. She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Oh, shit. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. She killed my family and the Starks. There is no See way the I'm Regent being is nice. ready to receive us. I'm gonna roll up in here. You watch. I'm gonna roll up in here. I'm gonna be a bitch. Is you drunk? Yeah, don't talk in front of them. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. All right. So be two-faced. Lie to keep my life. Good luck. Thanks, strange lady. Oh, it's going to be so hard not to say what I want to say. I'm just going to want to roll up in there and be like, Bitch! Oh, there's Tyrion! Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever! You can do this. Yeah, thanks, bestie. Oh my god, I'm actually walking through the Great Hall. Oh my god. Can I run for it? Look at everyone looking at me so judgmental. I can't help the family I was born into. Oh dear. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Thanks. Lord Tyrion. Oh, you Your Grace? <laughs> With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Oh shit. Why'd you say my surname? I am honoured, Your Grace. Hmm. Yet not honoured enough to kneel, I see. Fuck you, I'm not kneeling. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. 
I want to hear from the girl. It's actually her voice. Is your family loyal to the king? Hell no, Perhaps but I'm gonna have to say yes. A new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Yes, your grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. She only meant... I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. Oh, shit. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. Oh, God, I agree, Your Grace. They were our wardens. Um, I yes, agree... Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege, Lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. Is it any wonder you were so Satisfy her! What do you want from me? Which king deserves your loyalty, if you have any loyalty at all. Marjorie, you told me Is to say one thing and then to think another. Is your loyalty to your you new me. liege, Lord, Roose Bolton? Roose Bolton also served the Starks. Your oh Christ. man, I was sarcastic. And proved his loyalty to the Crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. <laughs> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. <laughs> what did you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe with the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? No. I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? I avoided if the question. If anyone could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities. Oh! She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Oh, shit. Which is not very encouraging. She made me. She made me! I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Marjorie, you better back me up in there. Swear to God, we will not be besties. Thank you, Tyrion. Being cool. I'll walk you out. Why, thank you! You're one of my favourite characters. This come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drew's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honourable man. He was. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. 
to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was head. quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I don't like Cersei. No doubt Lady Marjorie will forgive you. Eventually. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? I am so willing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. It's for my family. You are a brave girl, aren't you? And I would! I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. I've always liked Tyrion. So she is House Forrester. She's been sent there for whatever reasons. And it is her family that was slaughtered. Mira, I was worried. Don't forget to watch the first two videos if How you haven't. It? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. Don't I'd rather worry. not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible. But at least it's over now. Bitch, Lady please. Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. <laughs> and over in Martell, the Red Viper. Oh, he's cold. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate. From what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Don't want to marry Joffrey, believe me. Would you me. marry Joffrey? If it meant you'd become queen. Hell no! He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. You wouldn't have a head! I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Oh, thanks, bitch. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and. What are you doing? Oh, shit on it. Well. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. I said sorry! This is not a game, it's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. Yeah, me too. Just King's play some Landing chess. can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Um... 
people are not always so easy to please. If you showed Cersei your true heart, she would stab it with a fork. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. Of course I fear it. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Ask her for I, help. I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Did I do the right thing? Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no, no she's just a spy. I shouldn't. It's about my family. I trust her. I prefer to speak with you alone. Damn right. Hey, you just said you could be my handmaiden. You got no. You really have not a position for me. Go. Yeah. Get out, I don't trust you. Everyone's a spy. Close the door. Yeah, do you remember that? Go on. Please, Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath to see my brother bend the knee. Ramsay? Roose Bolton's bastard. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. Or a pigeon. Either one. That is no small request. Especially now. Shit. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Yeah. I... Is the situation that dire? Yeah, kind of is. Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King's Landing and its politics. I hope you can understand that. Very well. Oh. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Oh, Thank you, my lady. Me. I will send a raven to my family at once. Or a pigeon. Or a crow. As long as it can fly, right? That That's how they get to where they got to be. I think. How does a raven know what the person looks like? That's what I've always wondered. Like, you send a raven to your friend Dave to tell him you've got an Xbox. How does a raven know how to get there? All right, we're back now with our brother and the horse. That's a dick. I forget his name now. What's his name? Seven hells. Seven hells indeed. Oh god, what's happening? What are you doing? Oh, this is where Game of Thrones gets me all day. Shall we? Was him. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Oh, <gasps> shit! Why are they doing that? Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have I... full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy, what with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a droning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father oh, likes I... to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. Ah. He does now. How much further is it? To the He's a sicko, this guy, if in Game of Thrones. Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Pigeon. The Lord? It was a badger. It wasn't me. Oh, don't flame me. There. Thank you, son of a bitch. Hear that? I know I heard something. Oh, God. Stay still. Don't run. Stay still! Oh, did I make the right choices in life? Never mind. Ah, uh, we've wasted enough time already. Yes. Go away. Oh god, what would have happened if I ran? This is the thing with this game, man. 
You have no idea what would happen if you made the wrong choice. Thank God for big trees to hide behind. Alright, now we're going to go down and say hello to this gentleman who doesn't appear to be well. Hey, I don't mean you any harm, just want to, oh wow, Bloody hell. I couldn't do any more harm, you have no chest. <laughs> but that face though is like, damn it! Alright, where are we? Oh, are we back at House Forester? Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Don't judge me. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. He's the youngest. He's been left behind to, you know, be the man of the house, basically. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What do they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's <laughs> people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the hey. Lord! We need his judgment! Unnecessary, what did he do? I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan, Maester. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Oh, what do you do? This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric That's was supposed way to be of guarding doing it. our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Well, yes, my get lord. Punished now. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I have a family to feed. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. No. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. You'll address him as Lord. Stop it! Lord Sir Ethan, Bully? You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not oh permit it. God, why would I give this Consider decision? To the war. I'll send him to the wall. I am not killing him, man. I've had enough of that for one week. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. God, my if you punish there. me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. Show him mercy. My family depends on me. I'm going to show him mercy. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forester and deserves our protection. 
He's a rat in our grain stores. Get out if you don't like it. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. And everyone else should be thinking that now because I was very nice. And I got a trophy. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. I did what I had to do, and it didn't bother me. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on. No matter the circumstance. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Is it him and that other guy? Yeah. Because... The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then. I'm going to choose you. You are You're decisive cool. and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. I'm pretty much ready now. I pretty much made my choice. You know, I want to I want to choose you and put that on you. You ain't getting it. I can't choose that other guy, can I? Alright, alright. Um, well. Hey, little boy! Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but... I'm honoured. Oh, he's my brother. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you, you need to go to fight I'll school. I have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You all have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he... our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Oh shit, he's Someone sadistic. did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. Well, I, I agree with that. Sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Take your riddle in. Alright, let's, let's, let's just go and see our friend. Hey, what up? Can you just talk? Mister? <laughs> yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes. Yes, Mister. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I don't want him. I don't care who it is. It just can't be him. He's an asshole. It's a nice house, though, isn't it? I mean, look at that. So I'm really enjoying this game. I love Game of Thrones, a TV show, and when this came out, I just really wanted to play it. And I'm glad I'm getting back into it now. It's fantastic. Alright. You may sit. Yeah. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. There was one man who stood above all others. Yeah, it ain't you. 
Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. That can't be him. Him, I want that, the old guy. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This, this is reckless! Lord Ethan has made his choice. Yeah, you remember that. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. Yeah. I man. knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. I will hear from my Sentinel. Please. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Got to protect I trust her as Mira's well. judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. There must be other options. We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. We don't have the Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Oh god, I hate being Lord. Ah. My diplomacy. new sentinel favours a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. That's I'll right. offer our allegiance. That's right! And try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Oh, I'll be ready. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Respect my authority, ah? Huh? Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face. Lord to Lord. Ramsay Snow is no Lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Jesus. I will invite Ramsay into the Great Hall. Hmm. I'm going to keep him at the gate. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my Lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me. Yeah, he's my not Lord. coming into my but hall. But you are not ready to be lord of this house. Oh! You're likely to get us all killed. Get, get out! Out. Talk to You'll me like that. You'll regret that, my lord. You just kill him. It's Game of Thrones. You can kill who the hell you want. Let me talk to you like that. You're a lord. Ethan. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. Yes, I will. And we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Oh. God, see, they have, like, more numbers. We are quite weak right now. We are considered traitors. Everyone is after our iron wood, which is what My our Lord, family sets upon. You have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. I'm doing everything I can. Forgive me. Don't get ahead of yourself. There will always be those who question your leadership. 
Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Lord, much. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Look after your Asher bro. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. All right. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But... I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. What's up? I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. You with my mum? Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Well, but Mira is in the most dangerous place in the Game of Thrones universe! King's Landing! A nest of vipers. Mm. Ah, she is. Still looking sad as shit. Okay. Strange key. Take it. It could, like, lead somewhere and stuff. I'm gonna take it. It's a dangerous move, but dangerous moves lead to places in Game of Thrones. What's that? A medieval dildo! You gonna take that as well? I'm so gonna take it. Marjorie? I'm <laughs> just stealing people's shit. Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. Sorry, I don't trust you, but, you know, I know what Cersei's like. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. I don't care. We've known each other for years, and yet to be treated like that. I'm sorry, Sarah. You shouldn't take it personally. Well, I did. I thought there was trust between us. Nope. Friends don't hold secrets from one another. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me. And she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... Hey, Marjorie. What's wrong? My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just, I, you know, I can't be having spies. What did King Joffrey say, my lady? Oh God, do we want to know? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Uh, okay. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. Oh, I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Please don't hold it against me. Mm. 
Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> I need her Soon as a I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Now I've got to go find a pigeon. Oh, who's that? Is it the cowboy? Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know. I, I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. Can How can you? I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, m'lady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. Oh, I'm God. sorry. I, I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. I trust him, but I don't trust my friend. I think she's a spy. If he ends up being some sort of spy, I'm going to shove coal up his ass. I'm going to trust that boy to help me. What the hell are you looking at? Keep walking! Yes. Just because you got a gold cloak means nothing. Meanwhile... Where's Sir Roiland? The man values pride God, more Snow's than honor. Be here soon. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. We will provide. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Oh, shit on a stick. I hope I made the right choices. Ah, the sun! The sun is blinding. Stop it, sun. Turn my camera around. Jesus. Oh, crap. I don't like this man. Something wrong with your gate? You ain't coming in. I made my choice. I thought we had a little bit more men. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Stay out of my house. Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Just You're welcome you. inside, but your men are not. Did you hear that, men? The Lord of the House says, Fuck off. I think he's afraid of you. Wait I'm here. Afraid. I'm just smart. For now. Hey, I said only you. A talker guy? for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> Shit on it. Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Just stabbed my shield. Where are you going? Huh. 
Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Mm. Very impressive. This is why I didn't want to let him in, because now he's scoping out everything. Should have kept him outside. I didn't think about that. No, I, sh I, should, have, I should have kept my guns. I should have kept him outside. That's what I should have done. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out here, I can see you. Leave my brother alone. He's got a wooden I really sword. really must focus on the business at hand. Leave them be, Lord Ramsay. Ah. Worried about your family. As you should be. I'm the Lord. I'll have you speak only with me. Vast. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton. I ain't bending shit. Of the North. Anything I'm Words bending. Wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I only kneel to the king. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? No. That wouldn't but reflect what I don't give a me. shit. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. Shut they up. murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. No, you're mistaken. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. How it happened is irrelevant. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. Yeah, damn right. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. We'll bar the gates. Too late for that. What? Oh, no. No! You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. Fuck. You're not him alone. Frightened, are you? Tear his fucking ears off. Lord Tear Ramsay, off. please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. 
Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. <laughs> I never had a sister. Always wanted one. I said leave them be. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Oh, Lord shit. Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. Fuck you. I suppose you can stay. Damn right. Aren't you the bold lord? <laughs> what have you done? But I don't want a bold lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! No! no. I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy in your room. Fucking kill him! No! Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Catch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let him go! Let it go! Stop that! Don't be quiet, please! Stop it! Let me go! Do something! My son. Oh my fucking god. But no, no, I'm gobsmacked. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Oh, the wall. Ah, snow! Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will Shit. be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Oh my god, okay, uh, that's all the statistics. That's episode one, um, over and done with. I hope you guys checked out the previous videos before. I know that number two is released, I will definitely be buying that now. <laughs> and playing through the entire, we'll do it in one video, we won't do it in parts like I started with this episode. Episode two will be one long video. I can't believe that. Like, did you see me? Did you see me? I was like... Oh my god, I can't believe they killed even. I was just not expecting that at all. Like, he was going to leave alone and they just, he stabbed him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, uh, right. Like I say, next one, uh, episode two. Um... We will play through in one video. It'll be coming very soon. Uh, like, love, crest my channel. Like this video if you like this video. And for the love of God, I can't wait for the next one, uh, which is out now. So I'll, I'll, I'll play it. I'll get it out as soon as possible. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs>